we've addressed this as well, but I think he phrases it really interestingly. Just curious, how do we have bad movies and TV shows if you have yeah. to be really good to be in the industry? That's the thing. Some people think because there's so much bad stuff on the air, well, I can be bad. I can be just as bad as them. There's so many reasons why a show might be terrible. Some, not all of them are, come down to the writing. Sometimes you'll have a star and the star, this is what, the, this is what they want to do and writing be damned, writers be damned. Sometimes it's coming from the network or the studio. This is what they want. And so they're paying for it. Sometimes there's so many chefs in the pot, executive producers giving notes. You don't even know what you're doing anymore. I mean, to me, it's almost like it, the business is designed to make mediocre shows. Uh, and only occasionally something breaks through. And uh, God bless when that happens. But, um, you know, why, why? Just because that's how it, this is the, the business. This is the, it's a business. So everyone wants, they're chasing the same thing. I read a book, but I, I think it was Charlie Hawk. He described it as everyone wants to make a hit show. Everyone's in a, in a life raft. And so you have the director, the actor, the writer, the studio executive, the production company, everyone, and everyone's got an oar and they're paddling as fast as they can, but the raft is circular. And so everyone's paddling, but the raft is going around in circles because you know, that's what the problem is. When you have all these, they all want the same thing though, which is to get to the other side, but they're paddling. And so that's what happens. You start spinning around. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Unless man. you have a, you get lucky, it's lightning in a bottle, or you have a really strong showrunner who has enough F you minded to say no, but and that's, and by the way, that's not me. So it's some people who have the clout, you know. There's a really good book on this called Difficult Men. Uh, and it's about the showrunners. A Difficult Man Behind the Scenes of a Creative Revolution from The Sopranos uh, by Brett Martin. And it talks about this, sh these showrunners who were those guys. And they wrote Mad Men and all mm -hmm. these shows that you know and love. And it, they just had the chops to do the job and the attitude to say no. But the chops were so good, they, HBO and these companies yeah. just let them do their job. Once you start making a successful show, they usually back off. Once they learn to trust the showrunner, they back. They usually back off. But in the beginning, everyone's scared, and the bigger budget the budget is, every, the more scared everyone is. J.J. Abrams just had a show canceled on HBO this year. What was it? I, I can't remember the name of it, but it was like a massive budget. It was like one of the first things Discovery chopped. Like they just cut. Oh the budget yeah, well, because they discovered. were cutting budgets everywhere. So. No. Uh, two questions similar, going to combine them. So Shea, Shea Mercedes and Leody Bennett. Um, yeah. 